In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways to change the post author on blog posts on your WordPress site. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. Sometimes the name that appears on a website on a blog post is not the name you want to have appear there. For example, right here, this post right here is posted by whatever this spells. I can't read that word. It's not really a word, but that is the username of the account that I use to log into this website. We want to change that. To change it, you can go into your dashboard and then go to users. You can find the user, click on edit, and then you're on the profile page where you can change the display name on the front of your website. You can also go right to Howdy and go to edit profile. That'll take you to this page as well. So the username is this, which can't be changed. And the nickname is by default the same thing. And the display name is the same thing as well if we don't have a first name and last name added. If we add a first name and last name, like so, then we have display name options based on the first name and last name. I misspelled my name at first with a capital J, so that's why it has that option in there. But we have now a bunch of different options to display on our website. We can also make this uh, lead writer as the first name and have that as our option. So the, the post will be published by lead writer or content team. As soon as you put something in there, tab out of that field, you have the option down here to choose content team. Then you go down to the bottom of the page, click on update profile. And now all of the posts that were published by this author will now be changed to that author name. We see it right here by content team. If you want to move this post to a different author on your site, or you have an author that left your company, so you want to migrate your post to someone else. What you have to do then is go back to the users page. In the dashboard, go to all users, and then make sure that the user you want to attribute the post to actually exists here. If they do not exist, click on add user, give them a username like Frank, give them an email, frank at frank.com, Frank Richards for the name, and I'm going to uncheck this because it's not a real person. And I'm going to make them an author for the user role and click on add new user. And now we have Frank as a user on our account. Now, if we want to migrate posts from us to Frank, what we have to do is go to the posts and we can do this in bulk by selecting them all, going to bulk actions, choosing edit, clicking apply, and then we can choose author Frank Richards, click on update. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And in a few moments, all these posts will be authored by Frank Richards. There's the author column. I'll say Frank, if we come back out here and refresh, content team will be replaced by Frank Richards right there. We can also change individual posts. So if we wanted to just change this one right here, to a specific user. You could use the, the bulk actions as well, but you can do it right inside of the post as well, the post editor or the quick edit. There's a lot of different ways you can add or change authors. On the right-hand side, under the post and visibility tab up here, we have the author. We'll change that one back to content team. Click on update. And now this one will be published by a content team. Let's see, where is it? Here, food intolerance testing. This will be changed to content team when I refresh which I did just now. Now it says content team and the rest are Frank Richards. So let's say someone's leaving your company. Let's say Frank used to write for you, but he's now gone and you want to move Frank's posts to a different author. You can also keep them, depends on your policies. But if you wanted to migrate Frank's post to someone else, you could do what we just did, move them over. Or since you're deleting Frank's account anyway, just come back into the users page, click on delete for Frank. And now we can choose to either delete all content, which we don't want, that will delete any posts that Frank is associated with, or we can attribute all content to someone else. We can choose them from here. Whoever we have listed as authors or above inside the authors tab can have those posts attributed to them. In this case, we just have content team. Click on confirm deletion. And now all those posts, when I refresh these two right here, this one and this one, will now be content team posts because Frank is no longer with us. Now they are updated to content team. 
Next up, check out this video right here where I show you to speed up your website beyond what you might think is possible. And then check out this playlist down here, which is all about speeding up WordPress sites. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.